Hello and welcome to another video from S15 Studio. I would appreciate if you can like and subscribe and leave any video recommendations down in the comment section. And be sure to check out my website s15studio.com where I have courses on Revit and AutoCAD. I'm currently running a 50% off launch sale on my AutoCAD beginner to expert course so be sure to check that out before it expires. You theoretically have an infinite amount of space within your drawing file to create your design. A drawing can be as large as our entire solar system or small enough to fit on the head of a pin. To help navigate with this infinite drawing space, we use the display tools which we are provided with, which are the zoom and pan. This allows you to zoom up close to your drawing for detailed work or then zoom out to view the complete drawing. We currently have no visual reference on our drawing space to truly understand the size of the lines which we've just drawn. So to demonstrate this, I have created a drawing to give you an idea of how truly infinite the drawing space is. Just a small warning, if your laptop or computer doesn't have a high level of processing power, please don't open the file as it may crash the software and just sit back and, and watch what I'll demonstrate. So I'm going to go to the quick access panel, click on my open folder. In the files to share folder, we have drawing environment. So I'm going to open that. And what you'll see on your screen is a cube and each side is one millimeter in length. One millimeter isn't the smallest dimension that we can draw, but just for this demonstration purposes, I have drawn it by one millimeter. So all within the same drawing, we're able to draw very small details as well as large scale drawings. So we don't need to have separate drawings for small details and large scale details. They can all be within the one drawing space. So I'm going to zoom out, pan over to the right. And here I've drawn a screw. So this screw here is 22 millimeters high. And we can see the comparison to the one millimeter cube on the left. Next I'll zoom up again. So here is a person and their child. And the height of this person is 180 centimeters. And again, I'll zoom out. And here we have a typical house. So here we have a typical house, which is 12.5 meters high. So all within the same drawing, we have a one millimeter cube. And zooming out using my scroll wheel, we also have a 12.5 meter high house. Not only can we have the one millimeter cube, within the drawing of the 12.5 meter house. So next up we have the Eiffel Tower 342 meters. And I've also included the Burj Khalifa, which comes to 828 meters high. We could even go as far as drawing the entire world all within AutoCAD. So again, all within our drawing space, we have the capabilities of drawing a building which is 828 meters high. And all within the same drawing, we can also draw a small cube, which is one millimeter by one millimeter. So I'm going to close down this drawing and come back to the main drawing. 